what you just witnessed is Toyota's new hypercar. It's a race car designed for the Le Mans race this year. And the reason why this is so important is because this signifies Toyota's brand new and renewed commitment to sports cars and high performance product. Toyota wants to reinvent itself as the performance brand of Asia. And because of this, there are so many exciting cars coming out from 2021 to 2024 that's going to make your head spin. So for next several minutes, I want to reveal to you, based on my insight and my experience, all the new cars that are coming out from the Toyota brand. So let me walk you through year by year from 2021 to 2024 in terms of exactly what the Toyota brand plan to introduce to the market. Now this is all based on my industrial automotive engineering experience, my connection with the industry, and my knowledge of how Toyota brings new models. Now as you can see in this diagram, I created an entire timeline image that shows every single models that are coming out in the next three years. I will attach this uh, diagram into my Instagram account, uh, which the link is showing in my profile. Uh, so please go ahead there and download this diagram. But let me get into the details of every single car coming out in the next three years. First up, coming up very soon, is the new Toyota 86. This car, like before, will be based on Subaru BRZ and it will look very similar to the BRZ model shown here. There will be some changes to the front end, the back end, and some revisions to the interior, but overall it will look a lot like this BRZ. Now here are some spy photos of the upcoming 86. This is pretty close to what you can expect. Again, not a huge, huge difference between the Toyota version and the Subaru version, but it will be really interesting to see how far Toyota will go into making 86 a true, true sports car. You'll be priced way below the Supra, and of course, you'll be quite affordable, uh, but there's a huge loyal fans following the 86, so very exciting to see this coming out. I expect the 86 model to be shown sometime in the next two months with the model coming out by the summertime because Toyota will want to introduce this just in time for the summer season. Next up, right after the 86 introduction, is the all new 2022 Toyota Tundra. I've already spoken a lot about this Tundra in my previous videos, but to summarize, the 2022 Tundra will have a twin turbo V6 engine, most likely borrowed from Lexus. So the V8 engine that we love so much on the new current Tundra will likely be gone and replaced by the more fuel efficient V6 engine. We expect the new Tundra to be slightly bigger with longer wheelbase and a roomier interior along with a, a host of new technology features. Initially this fall, Toyota should offer all of the current variations of the Tundra except for the TRD Pro. We don't expect that model to come out until at least a year later on uh, along with possibly a hybrid version that should come out sometime a year to year and a half from now on. That's a lot of cars and trucks already, but there's more to come. Sometime later in the year, Toyota should introduce a Corolla-based crossover or small SUV that looks a little bit like this. This is a Corolla crossover that's already sold in Asia. Now our version is expected to look a little bit different from this, and our version of a Corolla crossover is going to be built in the southern US in conjunction and in collaboration with Mazda. They announced a brand new factory a while back and they will be producing this new Corolla crossover in that new factory. It should arrive sometime before the end of the year. The last brand new model we should see by the end of this year is a controversial one. It's the new Toyota Land Cruiser. The reason why this is a tricky situation is because Toyota North America already announced that they will discontinue the current Land Cruiser. But Land Cruiser continues to be sold in other markets, so we are not sure when Toyota introduces the brand new version of this Land Cruiser, 
whether it will come back into the U.S. soil. Now, currently, the Land Cruiser is not sold in Canada, so it's not going to affect our Canadian market. But in the U.S., it's a big question mark. Now, the Lexus version of the Land Cruiser, called the Lexus LX, will definitely carry on. So when the Land Cruiser is reintroduced as a brand new model, um, about a six month or a year later, Lexus will introduce the new version of the LX. So in both Canada and the US, we will definitely get the new version of the LX, but it will be at least a year away. Either way, my research shows that the new Land Cruiser will adopt the twin turbo V6 engine, much like the Tundra. The V8 will be reserved for the Lexus LX, so that engine should stay there, but for the um, Land Cruiser, if it does arrive here, it will have the new twin turbo V6, and a year to year and a half later, followed by a hybrid technology powertrain. The rendering and the illustration you see so far are rendering from Japan, so we expect the new Land Cruiser to look very close to these illustration, uh, with some changes obviously in terms of the front or the back, and of course, we don't quite know what the interior will look like, but we expect a big change in the interior with large infotainment system, both for the driver and the passenger. Wow, that's already a really busy 2021 calendar year, but in 2022 calendar year, we expect a few more important launches. In the beginning of 2022 calendar year, we expect Toyota to introduce this brand new GR Corolla. Here in North America, we are getting this version of the GR Corolla versus the GR Yaris that's been out now in Asia, Europe, and Africa for the last several months. In any case, our GR Corolla should follow the very similar recipe as a GR Yaris with an all-wheel drive, rally-inspired chassis and powertrain with a, a stiffer body and a whole host of suspension upgrades. It should be an amazing Corolla and one that could really surprise the market because it should uh, run around circle of other sports cars. So far the 2022 calendar year looking very busy already, but we're not done yet. In 2022 calendar year, as a 2023 model year, a new Sequoia will be introduced. Just like its cousin, the Tundra, the 2023 Sequoia is expected to bring into the powertrain a twin turbo V6 engine as opposed to the current V8. And just like the Tundra, it will host a whole series of new technology and safety features and a little bit later in its life cycle, a hybrid version will also show up, which is a substantial change from the current fuel thirsty V8 powered Sequoia. The last car to arrive in 2022 calendar year as a brand new model is the new CHR. Now that is still two years away, so there haven't been that many spy photos or rendering around, but we know for sure it will borrow heavily from a styling that it's already showcasing in the form of a GR Sport CHR, which is coming out this year. The GR Sport CHR will have lots of upgrades in the form of suspension, steering, and other mechanical features to make it sportier than the standard CHR. It will also have um, upgraded exterior design and styling, and you'll look pretty fancy compared to the basic and plain CHR. But the all new CHR, which will still be based on the Corolla, is yet to be shown to the public anywhere. We expect it to look sportier, much like this GR Sport, but we will have to wait a little bit longer to see what Toyota has in place for the brand new CHR. In addition to all these new cars coming out in 2021 and 2022, Toyota will also upgrade its existing RAV4 and Highlander in 2022. We call this facelift, which means they're not brand new models, but they will upgrade the features, both exterior and interior, and bring fresh perspective with these cars. So there you have it. These are all the new models and facelift that's happening in 2021 and 2022. And there's more to come in terms of what's happening in 2023 and 2024. So this was a part one that covers the next two years, and the part two is coming up, which will cover the following two more years.
So please stay tuned and come back and watch out for my part two of the Toyota product launches where I will cover the following two years for 2023 and 2024. These are all my predictions for the next four years in the Toyota lineup. It's very exciting lineup coming up and we just can't wait for these cars to show up. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later on. Signing out.